First Story Title, The Birthday Surprise Once upon a time, in a small town, there was a boy named Tim. Today was a special day, it was Tim's birthday. Tim was turning seven. Tim's friends, Lily and Jake, wanted to plan a surprise party for him. They whispered and giggled, making secret plans. First, they went to the store to buy colorful balloons and a big chocolate cake. Lily said, Tim loves chocolate, so let's get a yummy cake. Next, they invited all of Tim's friends. Lily wrote the invitations and Jake helped her deliver them to everyone's houses. On the day of the party, Tim woke up, feeling excited. His mom said, Get ready, Tim. We have a surprise for you. Tim wondered what the surprise could be. Lily and Jake arrived at his house, wearing big smiles. Happy birthday, Tim, they shouted. Tim was surprised and happy to see his friends. They all went to the backyard, where the decorations were waiting. Balloons floated in the air, and the chocolate cake sat on a table with seven candles. Tim's eyes sparkled with joy. They played games like musical chairs and pin the tail on the donkey. Everyone laughed and had so much fun. When it was time to eat cake, Tim made a wish and blew out the candles. Lily and Jake sang, Happy Birthday, and everyone clapped. Tim thanked his friends for the best surprise ever. Lily said, We wanted your birthday to be special and full of smiles. Tim hugged them, feeling grateful. The sun set, and the stars twinkled in the sky. It was a perfect end to Tim's special day. As they said goodbye, Tim thought, I have the best friends in the world. And so, Tim's seventh birthday became a cherished memory for everyone. Now, second story. Title, The Magical Garden Adventure. One sunny day, Tim, Lily, and Jake decided to explore the magical garden near their town. They heard rumors that it held secrets and surprises. As they entered the garden, colorful flowers greeted them. Tim said, Wow, this place is amazing. Suddenly, a tiny fairy appeared. Her name was Sparkle. She said, Welcome, friends. I'm the guardian of this magical garden. Would you like to go on an adventure? Excited, they nodded. Sparkle sprinkled fairy dust on them, and in a blink, they shrank down to the size of ants. Now small, they walked through a tunnel of vines. On the other side, they discovered a talking rabbit named Whiskers. He said, to find the magic key, solve riddles three. The friends listened carefully as Whiskers asked the first riddle, I'm tall and green, with leaves so wide. What am I? Jake shouted, a tree. Whiskers nodded, and a key appeared. The second riddle was trickier. I fly at night without a sound, and my favorite food is all around. What am I? Lily exclaimed, Owl. Whiskers grinned, and another key materialized. Now holding two keys, they faced the final challenge. Whiskers asked, I have keys but no locks. I have space but no room. You can enter, but you can't go inside. What am I? After a moment, Tim shouted, a keyboard. Whiskers clapped, and the last key appeared. With all three keys, they approached a giant door covered in vines. The keys magically opened the door, revealing a hidden world of glowing butterflies and talking trees. Sparkle appeared again, saying, Congratulations. You've unlocked the magic of the garden. They spent the day playing with the butterflies and talking to the wise old trees. As the sun set, Sparkle sprinkled more fairy dust, returning them to their normal size. Tim, Lily, and Jake left the magical garden with hearts full of wonder. They knew some secrets were meant to be shared with friends, making their ordinary day extraordinary. And so, their adventure in the magical garden became a cherished tale they shared with everyone in their town. The third and the last story. Title, The Lost Kitten. One cloudy afternoon, Tim, Lily, and Jake were playing in the park when they heard a soft, mewling sound. 
They followed the sound and discovered a tiny, lost kitten hiding behind a bush. Oh no! The poor kitten looked scared, Lily exclaimed. Tim gently picked up the kitten and said, we should help it find its home. They asked around, but no one seemed to know where the kitten belonged. Tim suggested, let's make posters to find its owner. So, they gathered colorful markers and paper. On each poster, they drew a picture of the kitten and wrote, Lost kitten, is this yours? They put the posters up around the neighborhood, hoping someone would recognize the little furball. As they walked, they decided to name the kitten Whiskers. Days passed, and there was no news about Whiskers' owner. The friends decided to take care of him in the meantime. They created a cozy bed with a small blanket and gave him delicious food. Whiskers became a part of their adventures. He would chase after butterflies and curl up in Tim's lap during story time. One sunny day, as they played in the park again, a girl approached them, excitement in her eyes. Is that Whiskers? He's my kitten, and I've been looking for him. The friends were happy but a bit sad to say goodbye to Whiskers. They knew he belonged to someone who missed him dearly. The girl thanked them and explained that Whiskers had wandered away while chasing a butterfly. She hugged Whiskers tightly, promising to take good care of him. As they watched Whiskers and his owner walk away, Tim, Lily, and Jake felt a mix of emotions. Though they missed Whiskers, they were glad to have helped reunite him with his owner. From that day on, whenever they visited the park, they smiled, remembering the time they found a lost kitten and made a new friend. And so, the tale of the lost kitten became a heartwarming story they shared with others. See you in my next story. Thank you.